Hi, my name is Gabriel Williams. I'm a certified firefighter in the state of Illinois. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to keep your home safe from common household toxins. A lot of people aren't aware that a lot of our common household cleaners are actually toxic, especially things like bleach is probably the biggest thing that when mixed with other chemicals can actually release a toxic gas that can actually kill you. You want to make sure that you're practicing the highest level of safety when using common household cleaners. When certain common household cleaning items are mixed, it can release toxic gas, which decreases the amount of oxygen in the air, which can cause us to pass out and possibly die from the lack of oxygen. Simple things like window cleaners that contain ammonia and any product that has bleach in it when mixed together causes a toxic things together that shouldn't be mixed. There's certain things that I might not even want to use in my home altogether. So before you buy that product at the store, read the label on back, look at what the precautions are, look at the chemicals that, are ha that it has in it. If you can buy a natural cleaner, um, something like baking soda is great to use around the house and it's safe even around your kids. Make sure that if we do have these products that have chemicals in them, we're storing them up high, out of reach of where kids can, use, can get to them. Make sure if we are having our kids help us clean that they're wearing the proper protective equipment. If we're using bleach or any other corrosive type cleaners, make sure to wear some type of gloves. It's good also to wear something over your eyes because we don't want to get that splashed into our eyes. Again, practicing these things will keep us safe and keep our children safe. Look for those natural products and use them in your home. Teach your kids about what's safe and what's dangerous. And don't forget, look up the number for poison control right now and post it somewhere on your house, like your refrigerator, that you can find it easily so that when an emergency happens, you can get to that number quickly and keep yourself and your family protected. So, even though it seems like common sense, make sure that we're reading those labels and checking for warning signs so that we know what chemicals are hazardous and what products are safe to use in our homes. My name is Gabriel Williams, and we've been talking about how to keep your home safe from common household toxins.